Went to my kid's school today. Had to give you guys a quick update here. Went to my kid's school today. I used to teach a little bit, you know, for my daughter at her school on economics and entrepreneurship, baby. Went to the school, went and talked to the principal. I said, look, we need to throw out all your curriculum in the school. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna teach the kids all about DeFi kingdoms, baby. Economics. Ooh, so check this out right here. I said, got it. You know, taught the principal all about DeFi kingdoms, how to be mindlessly irresponsible with your money and sell everything you own. Your, your, your wives, your kids, your husbands, go sell your husband's baby, sell your kidneys, buy some DeFi kingdoms jewel, buy some DeFi kingdoms crystal, buy some DeFi kingdoms heroes, baby. Get in here. Look at this. If you got some ragweed <clears throat> right here, got ragweed. Okay. Shout out to what are we doing on Friday night, baby? I'll tell you what we're doing. Are we out with the ladies? Uh-uh, ain't nobody got time for that. We got DeFi Kingdoms Alpha to talk about here, baby. Mm, yeah, okay, more things. All kinds of things we could talk about. We could go on for hours, try not to make them too long. Okay, <clears throat> there's a few more things I wanted to follow up on the video from earlier. You know, one thing to follow up on too is I got a call back from the, from the principal, my kiddos. My kid's principal called me back. She, thought, she said, you know, she thought it was a little inappropriate that I showed up there at school, tell them they need to get rid of all their curriculum, get it out of there, Talk DeFi keynotes, baby. Economics. All kind. This is real world use case right here, right? So, <clears throat> you know, she wasn't happy. So I told her, you know, we got to teach them while they're young. We got to real world use case type things. Here, DeFi keynotes, baby. This is the real world. They're not in, you know, learning some things and books that they'll never use in the real world. DeFi keynotes. This is real world right here. <sighs> she just wouldn't have it. Maybe she'll come around. Though. We'll stay on her. Stay on that principle. We got it. We got to talk about the more important things in life, baby. DeFi kingdoms. This is where it's at right here. My kids, you know, they try to approach the principal too. They're like, hey, what's up? We got to learn DeFi kingdoms. The kids got to learn these things. Not be wasting their time with math, you know, science, history. What do you get out of that? You get all kinds of things here out of DeFi kingdoms. Ragweed, you know, I was trying to tell her about ragweed and bloaterfish, economics in the game. You know what I'm saying? That's where it's at right here. Okay. We'll keep working on that. I'll keep you updated. Okay, let's talk. More things. Talk more on these tools. Okay, guys, really important message. It's been brought to my, some things have been brought to my attention. I need to let you know right away. It's very important to know. This is very, 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 very important for each and every one of you to deeply understand. And that four inches of sponge that are between your ears. You must know this. That I, believe it or not, believe it or not, I am not a financial advisor. I know you might just be shocked by that because of my amazing brilliance and high levels of intelligence and wit and wisdom and good looks that you could possibly mistake me, a YouTuber, a YouTuber sitting in his house. It, it's possible that a case, a litigation could be brought against me because someone could actually mistake a random guy, me, on their YouTube screen. Someone could actually mistake me to be their personal financial advisor. So I must make sure to announce such things that I am not your financial advisor. I hope you understand that. That I am not uh, actually accountable for the decisions that you decide to make based off the content of which that you watch on uh, YouTube. Yeah, and I ha also, you know, if such things were even actually possible to actually happen, such as a litigation, you know, against a YouTuber, then that would certainly prove the uh, mind-blowing, utter, hopeless depravity and stupidity of mankind. It, it sure would. And, and I have an, an official, unofficial bit of legal advice to all my lawyers, my amazing, trustworthy lawyers and judges who are servants of humanity, protecting us from all kinds of things out there. That if you even fathom, entertain in your mind to take on such a case, that you will certainly go down as the most trusted, trustworthy, helpful servant of mankind, bringing forth all of the ingenuity and genius of mankind. We thank you for your service. Okay. Come one, come all.
join me in being mindlessly irresponsible with your money and buy as many DeFi Kingdom Zeros as humanly possible. Is, does it matter if you pay your rent or your mortgage? No, as long as you continue to buy more and more DeFi Kingdom Zeros, as many as possible. Let me give you some marital advice. If your wife is not happy with how much money you're spending on DeFi Kingdoms, here's what you tell her. Here, here's what you need to do. You man up. You put your foot down. You say, woman, there's the door. Don't let it hit you on the backside on the way out. In this home, we are buying as many DeFi Kingdoms heroes as possible. And don't bother me if I'm questing my heroes or leveling them up because we must not let precious, precious minutes and seconds pass by while our amazing, sexy, beast men, heroes pure hunks of man flesh are sitting on the sidelines not questing with full stamina we must not allow such things to happen in this house take it from me your one and only amazing crypto expert who's managed to lose two million dollars this year in crypto alone it'll be amazing yes okay what am i doing wait for you can hear all my amazingly well-behaved children yes they're amazing as i neglect them because I do nothing but quest heroes on DeFi kingdoms. Ah, yeah, baby. Parental advice as well. You get it all here. You get amazing crypto advice where you can lose all your money. You get amazing marital advice where you can lose your spouse. And you can get amazing parental advice where your kids will become extremely embittered against you because you completely ignore them. Okay, just kidding. They love it. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, baby. Yeah. Well, someone questioned my integrity of whether or not I would avoid temptation, even if, Victoria, if a Victoria's Secret supermodel wanted to marry me but wasn't into DeFi kingdoms. I can tell you, absolutely not. No way, Jose. Would I, I would tell her the same thing. I would say, woman, don't let the door hit you on that really nice fine backside on the way out. Mm, I, would, I wouldn't even budge, wouldn't give in, wouldn't even flinch. My face would be set like a flint. I'd say, woman, this is all about DeFi kingdoms here, baby. Yeah. Yeah, losing our money in crypto. This is what we do here. Mm. Come join me. Come one, come all. Okay, what else? Anything else? I'm back. I'm back, baby. I know all of you guys have been asking. Grady, where are you at? Oh, lots of things going on. Let's catch up. Oh, all kinds of good news. DeFi Kingdoms, baby. Good news. Also, guess what? Okay, I got a phone call. Guess from who? The Playboy Mansion gave me a call. All the girls, they said they've been lonely. After Hugh Hefner died, they wanted me to come. They talked about me moving in with them. I was like, uh-uh, no way, Jose. We got heroes to quest. We got heroes to level up. DeFi kingdoms, baby. Ain't nobody got time for that. And then actually, believe it or not, one of them started crying. And I was like, oh, man. Well, you know, I could use a little R&R. &R. I thought, hey, let's go check it out. Never been there. Let's go see what this is all about. So I decided, okay, let's go check it out. So I went. You can imagine, you know, what I was doing there. You know, <clears throat> you guessed it, baby. You guessed it. I lined them all up and I taught them all about DeFi kingdoms, baby. I taught them about how they can go to the tavern and buy up as many heroes as humanly possible. Spend every last penny in that bank account. They can buy up all the heroes in a tavern. It was awesome. Long day. I taught them all about it. Ins and outs. Okay. I was exhausted. Long day. We went to bed. I went to bed, you know, I try to tell them I'm not good with girls. You know, I've just never been good with girls. Try to tell them that. And they, you know, they all were cuddling up with me and everything. I was like, uh-uh, no, don't bother me when I'm questing my heroes. Here's what happens. Here's what we do in this house. Every night we go to bed. You know what we do when we go to bed? We quest our heroes all up until the point, until we fall asleep with the phone in our hand, questing heroes, baby. And then the split second, we wake up. As soon as we wake up, we grab that phone and we start questing heroes to make up for all that lost time through the night. Oh, those heroes aren't quested. Oh, we got to make sure they're questing, baby. And I, I just kind of realized, you know, I don't think they're committed enough. They're not dedicated. I don't think they have what it takes. They don't have the Ghanas. DeFi kingdoms, baby. That's what we're all about here. And you know, I was like, I got to get back to my peeps. I got to make videos, YouTube videos for my people. I can't be doing this. So I had to tell them next day, peace and love. Guys, I got to go. You know, one of them started crying again. I was like, oh. well, and so I gave her a pep talk. I was like, life is going to be good. All you got to do is go to the tavern and buy up as many heroes as humanly possible. You got this. And they... Man, they begged me to stay. So that was hard. Felt bad. I, I mean, I tried to tell them that, that 
just not good with the girls anyways. And I don't know if I'll ever get a girl. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted a girl. Try to explain that to them. And they would argue with me, want me to stay. Who's got time for that? Oh, you know, because what we do here, you're, you're crypto expert right here. So what we got to do, I got to be your crypto expert to help you maximize your losses with crypto, baby. DeFi kingdoms in the house. You know, they always said, they always called me Shady Grady. You know what I'm saying? My last name is actually Gamble. For real. Grady Gamble. That's my name, baby. They always said, take a gamble with Shady Grady. So, I, you know, come one, come all. Take a gamble with Shady Grady. That's what we do right here, baby. All right. All right. I'll stop. Let's talk DeFi kingdoms. Oh, baby. I'm back. Large and in charge. Ooh, just went to Denver. Hung out with my sister, my fam, my brother-in-law, who's amazing. He's like a freak of nature. Superman. It's essentially Superman in the flesh right before us. My brother-in-law. He owns his own uh, like plastic surgeon clinic thing where he does dental rebuilding when people like get their face blown off. He rebuilds it back. Amazing. I sat him down. I said, look, here's what you need to do. You need to quit that. You need to quit your job. Let it all go. And you need to go to that tavern and buy up as many heroes on DeFi Kingdoms as humanly possible. My sister was like, you know, Grady, are you sure? Didn't you lose like $2 million in crypto? Are you sure you should be doing that? I was like, <clears throat> absolutely. Of course, without question. Here's what we do in this house. We, we scrounge up every last penny in that checking account and we send it all into DeFi Kingdoms, baby. Buy up all the heroes in the tavern. You got this. You can do it. Whew. Here's what we do, baby. And then I get home. I come home, you know, get home at like 3 a.m. Did get some sleep, you know. And the next thing I know, I'm getting my phone's blowing up. My kids are like, hey, dad, you got to pick us up. Cross country practice. And I was like, ooh, you are disturbing me. As I'm leveling my heroes, you must wait and I will come. And then they said, dad, the coach has to wait on us. He, he's got a doctor's appointment he's got to go to. True story. True story. He's got a doctor's appointment. I said, look. We can't let precious minutes and seconds go by without our heroes leveled up. When they're time, when it's time to level them up, all of, all else in the world must come to a stop. And you must wait. You must be late to your doctor's appointment while I level up my heroes, baby. Can't do it. So then I got there. Got, can't delay. Can't delay such things from happening. I got there. He wasn't a happy camper. 20 minutes late. He had to wait a good 20 minutes while I was leveling my heroes. Things we got to deal with in life, man. Got to focus on the more important things. You got to be, you got to dig deep. You got to be determined. You got to be focused. You can't let such things distract you. Whew. Yeah, baby. My kids told me to make sure I said that on my next video. <laughs> How about those thumbnails? On the, you know, I'm just driving in the car, holding my phone, doing a video. <laughs> and the thumbnails were like, <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. Ideal. Amazing. Maybe one day I'll get like an employee to help me, you know, edit my videos. I was just on with the brown gent, baby. Brown gent, amazing. We were only on for like three and a half hours. That was all. <sighs> videos only two hours. Man, he's amazing. He's been helping me out. He even got on here showing me how to do stuff on, on whatever this is called, Canva. Canva. And I still don't know what the hell I'm doing, but there it is, baby. Okay, this proposal passed. Do we all need more DeFi kingdoms in our lives? The answer is yes. Am I in a complete lunatic, insane, maniac, manic, crazy fool for DeFi kingdoms? Yes. A lot of people have been asking, is it true? Did you sit in your bed for three months straight, 12 to 15 hours a day, seven days a week, doing nothing but questing, manually questing DeFi kingdoms heroes? The answer is yes. Did you actually not brush your teeth during that time? The answer is yes. But I did go to the dentist. Were they happy with me? No. Did I go get some floss sticks from Walmart and have I actually used them a little bit? Yes. Have I taken showers? Actually not taken showers. The answer is no, I haven't. Is my house a complete wreck? Yes. Are there mice now running around in my house? Yes. Have I done anything about it? No, except I did go to Walmart yesterday and got lots of mouse traps. <sighs> did my kids go into my bedroom yesterday and tell me that they're concerned because there's lots of grease on my bed when I was shooting my video? Yes. Will there ever be another woman in that bed again? The answer is no. Unless she's a complete DeFi Kingdoms junkie, baby. <laughs> Will I ever give in to temptation? No. Is my cleaning lady ever going to come back? Probably not. Will I ever have another woman in this house? Will I ever give in, even if it's a Victoria's Secret supermodel, if she's not a DeFi Kingdoms junkie? The answer is absolutely no. Intolerable. She must be a 
complete DeFi Kingdom junkie. Am I extremely turned on by all these cute girls that are amazing DeFi Kingdom junkies? The answer is yes. Do any of them have a chance with me? The answer is probably not. I'm a mess. Do we need any more of that drama in our lives? The answer is no. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I love you guys. <sighs> Climb an ogre. Ogre. 